laundry is done <laughs> welcome back to another vlog today is monday and you guys saw my morning it's been a really good morning really nice to like have the time to do all of that stuff to like wake up at a decent time go to the gym take the boys for a walk like it's very nice um, I'm definitely soaking it all in because it's not going to be my reality forever But now that I'm done with clinicals I have a few days of the week kind of to myself where I can work on stuff that I need to work on so it is 12 47 right now and I'm just sitting down to get started on some work. I have some pasta boiling for lunch But I don't really know like what I need to do this week. I have I guess I have like kind of an idea of what is due but i didn't look at anything yesterday since i have you know more time during the week to do things now so now i'm, I'm just gonna get my life in order um kind of make a to-do list of what needs to happen today so i had on here that i need to to finish pesh hours which we have to have 14 volunteer hours every semester and i've actually already completed those so i can cross that off and then I need to add, I need to finish my patient of the day oral presentation. So I'm gonna put that on my list. I'm working on laundry. I have one last load that needs to be done. So I need to finish that today. Mm. I have the return, the dress that I bought from Lulu's that is just not cute that I was gonna wear in my graduation. I need to send that back back grad dress I really need to go grocery shopping because we are on our last leg but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that in today I usually shop at Trader Joe's but I don't actually I live in North Tampa not Tampa and the Trader Joe's is in South Tampa so I just don't really want to drive down there today gas prices are high so I might try to shop at Aldi's or something it makes me kind of nervous because I don't really know what I would get there but I'm gonna put grocery shopping on my list. I don't know if I'll actually complete it. And I'm going to watch a, um, sorry. I'm going to watch um, a boys volleyball game. My husband Seth is the athletic director for a school around here and he coaches a lot of things, but he coaches um, boys volleyball and this is one of their last home games. So I wanna make sure I can see a game. And that's at five. So I'm just gonna put that on my schedule too and yeah that's what we've got planned for today so this is lunch also this is just a reminder that doing anything with two dogs is nearly impossible this is why i like try to work at coffee shops or at school if i can because they i love them like don't get me wrong i freaking love them but they are so annoying and they want me to play with them all day long like it's i've gotten through two powerpoints so far and i need to get through at least seven and it's been half an hour Really nervous I'm going to grocery shop at Aldi's and I used to grocery shop here like when I lived in Tennessee but I haven't been to an Aldi's in probably like three or four years I'm nervous like, I don't, like what do I get from Aldi's I don't know I gotta go though Whew. it's getting really hot in Florida that was not fun I don't like Aldi's <laughs> there was nothing there I got like maybe like 20 things and it was all fruits and veggies and bread that's all I got there was nothing I don't eat meat so there was nothing else for me to get there you know I don't know like I feel like Trader Joe's just has like tofu and I don't know they just have, they have stuff so I will not be going to all these again because it was kind of a waste of time now I just need to go to Trader I mean to Target and get other stuff <laughs> so yeah it was just a waste of time it was like having to go to two places so not doing it anymore but you know in a pinch whatever it was just like very sterile very cold very like not friendly in there I, I didn't like it Today is 
today. I had a lovely morning. I mean, it's still morning. It's 9.48. Um, but like mornings off during the week are just premium. Like I didn't sleep. I mean, I slept in more than I normally would if I were going to clinicals or something. I slept until like 7.30. And then I just like done i've like linked some things i played with the dogs outside i'm about to take them on a walk and go to the gym and like i think i can do all that stuff before noon so i'm just i'm loving the stay at home dog mom life it's really great um it's a beautiful morning outside too in florida it's kind of been hot the past couple of days but right now it's 69 degrees which is so nice so um, the plan for today is currently right now I'm going to take the dogs on a walk before I leave and go to the gym. And then I'm going to do a Target run because we are out of LaCroix. And like I said yesterday, I went to Aldi's to try to like get some food and I got produce but nothing else, like nothing of substance. So I'm going to run to Target, maybe pick up a few groceries to get us through the week. Um, and then I am going to work on, we have to do these SMART goals at the beginning of the semester. And then we have to do an, a SMART goal evaluation at the end of the semester. Like say, did we reach our goals? What are we going to do if we didn't? So that is due on Sunday, but I'm going to knock it out today. And I have some returns to do actually um, that I didn't get done yesterday. So some of my to-do list rolled over to today. And yeah kind of weird I feel like that's all I have to do today I don't know I guess I need to check my I need to check my to-do list because if that's all I have to do today I don't know what I'm gonna do to fill up my time <laughs> it's so weird having all of this time like to go from having no time whatsoever to so much time okay I don't know I just made my like to know it little shop and honestly this was not an easy venture this was like really difficult to figure out how to do but i posted things like um most of my like cozy loungewear is there uh, my glasses which i get asked a lot about where those are from they're from orby parker and they are linked directly on here now and this exercise dress that's linked there too so yeah i will try to keep up with this it's kind of a lot but I'll do my best. So we've made some progress. This was my first SMART goal. And it was about um, basically like hormone replacement therapy. And then they wanted us to do some type of graph or table or something saying um, like if we achieved our goal or not. So there's my graph and then there's my little evaluation. So hopefully that's right. I have to do two. So I'm saving this one and then I'm moving on to the other one. I just got back from Target. I'm just gonna do a little, it's very mini Target haul. Most of it I got from my husband. He eats this um, yogurt. I think I'm gonna make hard tacos tonight because that sounds good. Lar bars, some impossible burger for the tacos, bones. I really, really like this nacho cheese from Target. It's the Siete brand. Got some pasta. I really like the Barilla protein pasta. Taco seasoning, some rice noodles some veggie meat, breadcrumbs we use to make veggie meatballs, cereal, some more dog bones, and then just some veggie meat and cheese. I'm actually going to make a sandwich for lunch. It's Wednesday, Wednesday evening. I just got back from work and I'm making dinner now. I regret instantly my decision to make this dinner because it takes so long, but I'm making homemade meatballs, they're veggie meatballs, and pasta and probably like a salad or something on the side and drinking a LaCroix I'm watching Danielle Carolyn uploaded an hour-long vlog so I'm living for that I love her content so much but I don't even I don't know why I did this I don't know why I decided to cook this I just didn't have anything else like that I could think of to cook so right there the veggie meatballs are made primarily of carrots and potatoes, so you have to like cook those first and kind of make them really soft, and then then you can actually like form the meatballs with breadcrumbs and walnuts. So 
It's really good. It just takes so long to cook, so I barely ever make it. But fun fact about me is I don't ever think about things twice. I'm just like, mm -hmm, I'll just do it, and it'll be fine. Which, and it'll be fine, whatever, it will be fine. So that's what I'm doing. Today at work was kind of busy, which is fine, because I don't really have that much homework to get done anyway, but we had to do IND kits um, for the procedures class. So they're doing their check off. So we basically mix together, um, excuse me, vegetable glycerin and Vaseline. And then you put it in a balloon and then you put it in these like skin, these like little skin modules so that when they do the IND, all of this like pus looking stuff comes out. So we did that and then a bunch of organizing and cleaning because next week is actually my last week of Giang. So that's super exciting because the semester is like coming to an end, which I'm so happy about. So. Yeah, that's it. Nothing of like substance happened at all today. Um, oh, you know what? I haven't told you guys, but my husband and I are going on a cruise. Oh yeah. You just have to like get it soft. Sorry. I'm feeling very chaotic right now. Um, so my husband and I are going on a cruise in a couple of weeks for kind of like a celebration of me graduating, finishing. And so we, we booked our tickets already, but we upgraded our room today. So that's kind of exciting. And yeah, I'm super excited. I'm kind of nervous about going on a cruise. I've been on I think I've been on two before, but one was when I was a kid and the last one was pre-pandemic. And I'm really just nervous about being out in the middle of the ocean. That really freaks me out. Um, I can swim, but I would like to, you know, like not go down with the boat. That's, I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about this, but I'm, I'm scared of that. I'm legit like scared of the boat. Obviously not like hitting an iceberg or anything like the Titanic, but just going down with the boat. I'm terrified of that. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm up to. I'm feeling, like I said, very chaotic, but I'm feeling good. I feel very content with my life right now. Like I'm not um, overwhelmed with school or anything because we're really winding down. I don't have to work at the hospital um, this week, which hospital work really adds a lot of anxiety to me. Um, it always has. It's gotten better as I've been a nurse for longer, but it's just, that's why I'm like in, in peaceful because I just need to be done with it. I really just want to be done. And I've always wanted to be an MP, so. Anyway, I gotta charge my camera battery. The worst part about cooking. So much mess to clean up. Everybody's going to bed for the night. Come on, camp. Hey, Bobby. Love you. I'll see you in the morning. Who's just taking up his spot? Say goodnight. <laughs> Lay down, Bubba. Come up here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Good night, baby. Just filling out the evening part of my five-minute journal. Then we're going to go to bed. I think it's almost 11. It's kind of late, but... Good morning, guys. It's Friday. I'm so happy it's Friday. Last night was, or yesterday, was like the longest day ever. I'm making a cup of coffee. This is the most chuggy coffee cup ever, but I just really like the cup itself and like the way that it feels to drink out of it, but this is so funny to make coffee and mascara. I definitely got this cup from Home Goods years ago, like 2016, 2017. Oat milk, a little bit of this. I woke up at, I naturally woke up at like seven o'clock, which I just hate that for myself, but it's a reality when you like wake up early all the time, your body just like naturally wakes up earlier, you know, so. Been, um, I'm gonna 
take my vitamins and have a little chat. I've been toying with the idea of texting my manager and being like, hey, got some free time in the next couple of weeks, so if you need me to come in, just let me know. And honestly, like, just the thought of that gives me anxiety, and I hate that. But I, I mean, I'm not really doing much else right now, so I might as well work and, like, make some money, but that job freaking sucks. So, anyway. The vitamins that I take, I take Ritual, which is like a women's vitamin. I take vitamin B12, and I take vitamin D. And... I would definitely recommend that everybody takes a vitamin D supplement. Um, and I know that can be controversial, but <clears throat> most of us aren't laying out in the sun for 30 minutes every day getting our vitamin D. And if you wear sunscreen during the day, that even you even get less vitamin D. So just take the supplement. Vitamin D is like used in your, excuse me, all those vitamins haven't gone down yet. Um, vitamin D is used, your body uses it to fight um, infections, to fight COVID, to fight the flu. They've even found that people whose vitamin D levels were lower had a harder time fighting cancer. So just take a vitamin D supplement. It's really easy, good for you. It's better than being in the sun. Some foods are fortified with vitamin D, but not a lot most people are deficient in vitamin d anyway all right that's my lecture i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna enjoy my coffee and i'm really just gonna have myself a day i need to make some breakfast too but i don't really know what i want to make so cheers happy friday i'm very into harry styles lately like everybody else but i'm gonna get ready I'm gonna take the boys on a walk, then we go to the gym. Then I'm gonna get myself a coffee. I might even bring like, I'm tempted to like sit at the coffee shop and get some things done because it's actually really difficult to get anything done at home with the boys. And I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna get ready though. It's another midday play. Who's your drop it? <coughs> hey, hey, stop. Good boy. All right, go ahead, go out there. I'm gonna try. Just wait. Just wait. They're obsessed with throwing the ball right now, especially Camper. He thinks it's the best thing in the world. Drop it, honey. Go. I just got back from the gym. I'm hungry, so I'm making a little like taco bowl. And I really regret it because my kitchen was clean before this. Now it's dirty again, and it's lunchtime. I feel like as an adult, my entire life consists of cleaning my kitchen. <laughs> it's just a cycle of cleaning my kitchen and doing laundry. And it's so annoying. But this bowl's gonna be really good. I'm gonna sit outside and eat it too because it's a beautiful day. A little bit of vegan cheese. I really like this um, vegan cheese. I get it from Target. I've never seen it sold anywhere else, but really good I think it's good but it's been several years since I've had cheese so I don't think I can really adequately compare there's never there's not a good comparison you know it's not gonna be the same I'm putting some avocado I'm like um about out of my hot sauce like so I love this chipotle tabasco sauce Mm, there's none left. I'm sad. This isn't going to be that good without hot sauce. No, it's not. Oh my god. There's no flavor whatsoever. I have sriracha, but. I don't love like sriracha. It's not my favorite hot sauce ever. I might have to put just like more of this cheese on here. And sriracha is like 
actually spicy. I really like this stuff because it's smoky. It's not super spicy, it's more smoky. I get reflux if I eat too much spicy stuff. It sucks getting older. <laughs> It's better. It is what it is. I'm gonna eat enough time. Come on. Let's go outside, boy. Okay, guys. So I just got ready, but I'm gonna go work at a coffee shop and just kind of. It's already. Oh, it's only 1:30. It feels really, feels really late. But um, I I don't know how people do it. Like work from home. I really applaud you guys because I get so distracted and I feel like my morning routine isn't done until at least noon. Like. I just got ready and did my hair, which is not something I would normally do, but I've just been hating my hair recently if it's not done, but it's stupid. So anyway, I got my regalia for graduation. I graduate in a couple of weeks actually. And what the heck? How do you, I mean, I've seen these before, but how do you even do this? Hmm, interesting colors. And it told me that was supposed to be hung up oh cute oh it's black that's kind of weird my one from nursing school was green and these are just the most what look at the sleeve wait what why the sleeve like that Is that normal? Oh, maybe that's like a like a master's thing. Harry Potter. Wait, what in the world? Why are the sleeves like that? That's not cute. Anyway, these are never cute, but it told me to hang them up. It was like, hang up immediately after you get them. And I did not. I'll hang it up. But this is exciting. The yellow on here kind of goes with my dress a little bit. I'm wearing a yellow dress. So. All right. Let's take this into my closet. Get Hoosier. He looks so perfect. You're so beautiful, baby. Gorgeous. Did you see mom's dress? Yeah. Did you think she looked pretty? What did you think, honey? You look so cute up there. I feel like this is like all the dog content in the world today. Please excuse my very, very messy closet, but we'll put that there. This is the dress that I'm wearing. It's like bright yellow. It's fun, I like it. All right, so that's done. I need to get my stuff together. I'm going to the coffee shop to basically start working on this. Um, med notebook that I talked about. I posted a TikTok on it. I posted an original TikTok like a month and a half ago about it and then people were like, oh my god, sell that. And I don't really know how to do it. But I think I'm gonna, um, I just posted another TikTok today just asking you guys if you would be happy with it being in a Word document and then um, I would just put it on like something like Etsy and once you purchase it, you could download it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do because I'm just a bit of a perfectionist and if I put something out there, I want it to be like worth your money. I'm literally like scratching my dog's <laughs> belly with my leg, but I want it to be worth your money. So I don't know how much I'm going to charge for it. It's probably going to be like at least 50 bucks. I'm putting in like free time. Like this isn't my job. So I don't know, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. It's not cold in Florida, but I know it's going to be cold in this coffee shop. Oh, you know what? I have some some of those bathing suits that I showed you guys. I'm gonna return because I'm only keeping like the blue one that I showed you guys from last week. So I actually need to do that really quick because I need to stop by FedEx. Oh, USPS parcel. Yes, I love it when it's USPS because then you can just put it in your mailbox. Oh, cool. So I don't need to stop by anywhere. I'll do that when I get home. Bye, babies. They always like look at me like so sad. I'm getting ready to leave. You guys are the best. You're such sweet babies. So I'm back home. 
I worked on this pharmacology um, notebook for like two hours. And it's just like a little brief overview of what it looks like, but that was really like good. I got a bunch of it done. I really don't have that much more, but I want to tweak it. I want to make sure that I included everything because there's definitely things that I've left out. So am I blurry? I don't think so, but sorry if you can hear. Camper <laughs> is like panting like crazy right now. Uh, I just played outside with them for a little bit. So he's so tired. <laughs> are you okay? Honey, are you okay? I'm kind of concerned. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh no, he's drinking out of the toilet, cool. Um, but I totally neglected the fact that I have a quiz for my practicum class. We have a quiz every semester. Um, and it's like 25 questions. It's general. It's a general um, women's health kind of knowledge check type of thing. I don't ever study for it, but um, I need to do it because the deadline is next week and I have time, so I might as well do it now. I don't even know if you can hear me because they're panting so loud. So anyway, I'm just gonna do that and get it out of the way.